I'll tell you what, Mr. Marsh, it's a nice day for it. <laughs> it being us being kind of on the sky, really, because we're not, not planning on doing much to work today, are we, Nigel? Being lazy bastards that we are. Yep. We are planning on uh, doing a little job and then goofing off. Yes. By cleaning some solar panels, but uh, because we're waiting for our first client to finish her school run, let's go and have a little potter around one of the little local landmarks here. The old Chesterton windmill there, Mr. Marsh, what do you think about that? Uh, no, you're not in Holland. Probably for the best, I mean, he's pissing it down over in Europe at the moment, isn't he? You see what's happening in Germany and Belgium. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've got the floods. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look at this contrast we've got here at the moment. But uh, certainly, if you've got to wait for your client to turn up, you may as well be waiting somewhere like this. So I couldn't be doing with working in a grim city, would could you, Nige? No, not now. Apparently there used to be a Roman town here. Well, Roman? What have the Romans ever done for us? Well, they built the fucking Foss Way over there, which is uh, the road that we're always zipping up and down on. There's a motorway over there. There's your M40. You should be able to see my house from here, because I can see this windmill from the bedroom, but I don't quite know. It's probably over there somewhere. I don't know. He kind of leaves your bearings up here. Is that the flats you can see from everywhere? <laughs> yeah, the flats over in... Uh, they must have a hell of a view in that block of flats, because wherever you go in sort of Leamington, you can always see that block of flats. Okay. We see it usually just a big chunk of copper or steel going on. Not that we know anything about such clever things. We're just shit scrabblers, aren't we, Nige? Well, I know I've scrabbled shit. I suppose we better. Well, they cemented it in to stop people nicking. Who's going to nick that? <laughs> you never know, mate. The way of the world these days. Oh, nine o'clock. I suppose we better go and uh, make our way to our client. Must wash the van sometime. Seems like mostly girls that uh, scrape their names into this. Yeah. Shit, isn't it, seeing uh, graffiti on an it's old right structure? when you see it and it's like 200 year old graffiti or something. But Christie yeah. 2021. Yeah, it's still fresh. That one will disappear. Becca. We've hardly scratched it. Rosie 15. Rosie, yeah. Is she 15 or 2015 or is it IQ 15? Becca. Fucking tramps. Becca Hart Skanks, Nige. Skanks. Skanks. Right, we're heading over, where's our job? There. Behind oh, those trees. Oh no, over there. Ah, oh, is it? Yes, I suppose it is. Somewhere over that way. Get this job done, and then we can get on with our actual day, which is to clean my fucking solar panels. Filthy. You excited? Filthy. I'm a massive fan, but yeah, I prefer, prefer a bit of pork, personally. I'm not a huge fan of beef these days, unless it's a steak. So the idea today is we're going to give my solar panels a bit of a cleaning. Which I like to do once a year, normally in April, but April this year was cold and dry. So the usual sunny days we sometimes get. And then May this year was cold and wet. It feels like the first proper day of summer today, isn't it? Because it's going to be sunny more than two days in a row, I reckon. Yeah, we are in for some nice weather. So let's go then today. It'll be 30 on Sunday, they say. 30, I can live with that. I don't want to get much done. But live with it. You missed the windmill there, Nige. Windmill? 
Oh yeah. yeah. Passing the window again. Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere. Yeah, just see the tip. Came up here earlier. Uh, and it's gentle walking toward the window, uh, windmill with no shirt on. Can you believe that? Yeah. Topless. Topless. Well, I just think he is. Bedworth. Showing his gentleman movies. I did not realise we're at Mount Wellington Spa here. It's not North Warwickshire. <laughs> our job. I wonder how many jobs we've got booked in today because it's, it's too lovely a day isn't it Nigel to be busting a gun too much. Too nice a day. Yeah. So uh, we're going to deafen and clean these solar panels, have a pub lunch, knock off early. Sounds alright to me? Sounds excellent to me. Yeah I can do that. You've got to do that every now and again when the sun's shining out. Well, it doesn't happen that often, so... Yeah, it's seemingly not. Grab the chance. But it's just not. Here's what we're cleaning today. Hard to pick up on camera, but there's a, a film of dust on them and a shitload of bird turds by the looks of it. Not essential to clean these things every year, although it does make sense to do them every now and again. What we're going to do is we're going to set up our tower platform here, scurry up it, and then use our cleaning poly thingamajiggamy to do the cleaning. But um, we'll have a close look at the solar installation while we're there, just because it's interesting, interesting. It was put in, I put it in in 2014, Nigel came and helped me manhandle the panels onto the roof that time. All right. Uh, the rest of the installation I did myself, I got MCS accredited at the time to do the work and it's the one and only PV job I ever did do because to remain MCS accredited is a pain in the fucking arse. It's just not not as something that's designed for the small businessman, the one no, that spark is, will do it every now and again. That is your business. But it's solar panels and that's all you do. Yeah, yeah, it's all right for them. For the rest of us. Nah. So, uh, we'll stick the camera on time lapse just to get this tower up and then we'll have a little chat about the tower itself before people start moaning at us in the comments, as you will. I didn't take too long and we have an erection more about that later on right now though we're gonna go to the pub because it's buy one get one free on burgers and we're greedy buggers bloater mm. we're supposed to be on a fucking diet <laughs> you brought me to the pub you've got to be at the pub on a sunny day although we are sitting in the shade Fucking hell, son. Can't keep doing that every week. No. Nope. I'll tell you what. You won't be monkeying around up a scaffold tower this afternoon after <laughs> sticking that lot down, would you? It's a good job we're here, uh, yeah. Not doing anything important. Mm. Oh. Good job we're not on the beer. Mm. Maybe we should just death this afternoon and stay here and get on the beer. <laughs> Nigel has got our pump Max and we are picking up our water. 
This is the same water window cleaners and stuff you use. Is that is it? I thought they just filled their bucket well, with your sink. Supposedly. Lift pump. Jesus, it fucking comes out quick enough. The idea of this, of course, is to leave a streak free finish on the panels. Not that it really matters, come on. Oh shit. Oh. Not that it really matters, of course. Oh, look at that, zero pounds, zero pounds. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure I actually got charged for that. Thanks for the business, we look forward to seeing you again. Okay. Well, you'll have to check. Yeah, well, I'll do my old boy. I got that free, that's right. It's going to come back. Yeah. Do business again. So, fill up some bigger tanks. Go on, ask your stupid question. It's not a stupid question. I was asking Dave how these chairs can sit in the direct sun. I mean, direct sun, these haven't been moved, yeah? yeah. Feel it. There is no heat in them. It's cold. How is that done? Space age aluminium. Space age, it must be, because it's, there's no heat in it whatsoever. Sitting in the direct sun, I expected to burn when I sat down in this, but no, nice and chilled seat. In fact, you could hop around them just to keep on a chilled seat. For fuck's sake. Right, you take that, old man. Let's get on with this fucking pain in the arse. Now then, first thing to say about this what, before we get your massive pole. roasted in the comments. Yes, I'm going to talk about my massive pole and my massive erection over here. And no, it's not PASMA compliant. Hey, hey, before they say it on there, because you know they're going to say it. Go on. Where's your kickboards? Exactly, exactly. Missing kickboards and that sort of stuff. This is a DIY tab, but okay, this is alright. It's a DIY job. This yeah. is my, me cleaning my panels on my house and I'll use whatever access equipment I want. Thanks very Let's much. Face it. There's not going to be any hammers up there. So There's not going to be anything to kick onto my head, is there? So uh, look at this as perhaps view this as a how not to do it as opposed to a how to do it. Right. As I say, this is an off the books. DIY job using my DIY tower and it's funny because if we were to do this off a ladder if we were to put a ladder up there people wouldn't say a thing but as soon as you get out the old DIY tower it's like oh plasma plasma no kickboards no this no that no the other etc anyway we have our spotless water and for some reason we haven't been charged for it I read the receipt through and the machine just said at the time Zero pound, zero pence, and I've now got a receipt for zero pound, zero pence, yeah, so, uh, so... There it is. If you want fruit, spot the for a limited period, eh? Uh, I'm the titan story of being a uh, touchable craft. Touchable Easy for you to say. And, uh, all the details in, the credit card in, it didn't charge it. It's very now, it did, but, uh, You realise Dick Spanner? Water. But you're over there and the microphone's over here. Wait, can I have a clown? Hello? Don't know. Even until they see clown's penis. Ordinarily, right. when it comes to cleaning these things, I do it myself. So every April or so, I get my erection out in the garden, which I install on my own, because one man can put this up quite easily, one person I should say. And I look this thing up and uh, just get the hell on with it. Hold on, what was that? One person. You corrected yourself. I am. I'm getting all BBC about it, Nigel. You're getting all uh, politically correct. I'm just wondering whether I should leave this on the floor here and get you to switch it on as required and film from back over there. You don't want to carry that heavy thing up there. No, normally I do take it up there with me so I can switch it on and off, but because I have your arse Instance yes. today, you can be the turner, honour, and offerer. Oh, it's a job I think 
I can manage with a plum. Well, we'll see how you manage to fuck it up. The reason we got this gear, this cleaning gear, is because three years ago we were wondering about whether we should offer solar panel cleaning as a chargeable service. The reason for that being, I saw some, some people moaning on social media about, uh, oh, someone's charging us 90 quid to clean our solar panels. It's uh, an unreasonable amount of money. What do you reckon? It's 90 after quid After doing it, after <laughs> doing it, I'd say that's a damn bargain. Yeah, it, it, this is it. We, we, to test it out, whether it was a viable service or not, because it sounded like, you know, it could be a fairly easy day. You could do maybe a, two or three of them and not, not break into too much of a sweat. That was the idea. Yeah. However, we did a property, didn't we, in Warwick, where the panels it had two arrays. The front array didn't take us too long to do. The no. back array, that was fucking dirty, wasn't it? It was green. It was green, yeah. And we were there on a hot July day in 2018, oh, a very was, hot summer 2018. That was sunstroke hot. That it, was, it was hotter than today is. And we were there and we were pretty much there all day, weren't we? Yeah. Those panels were so tough to clean. Now this is only very basic sort of cleaning gear. This isn't hugely high-end stuff, is it? Yeah. It's, it's fairly cheap, a couple hundred quid, this pump system. Um, but bloody hell, it was hard work. And also it was, there was erecting, moving around the tower. Obviously if it was something that we, we felt that we could do as a Did that have, legitimate business. Did they have a, a glass house? They, uh, they had an extension we had to work around. Yeah, I remember something. Uh, had it been a, had we felt it had been a legitimate business, we would have invested in the proper plasma gear and training and all that sort of stuff. But because it took us pretty much all day, all day. and numerous cups of tea from the homeowner just to keep us hydrated, yeah. it was like, no, th this this ain't going to work. <laughs> this ain't going to fly. We got video footage of us doing it at the time, some of which has been shown while I've been yabbering on here, no doubt. Has it using right. the magic? Yeah. Of editing. Was I slim back then? You'll have to tell me. Was I, I slim? Know, I don't know. I have to look to see. Uh, I remember you spent half the time just sat on your ass. I was the one up the tower, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, but it was too up. It know. was. Maybe it I was. wasn't so slim. Maybe that's why. So you know, those saying, "Well, oh, ninety quid is is a obscene amount of money to have my panels cleaned every two or three years." No, oh, you fucking get up there and do it yourself then, <laughs> yeah. because I can tell you now. You ain't going to be doing it from the top of a ladder and you're going to need to invest in some pretty whizzy equipment to get to all the corners of your array. It's not something you can easily do. No. Uh, it's not like cleaning your windows. Uh, so yeah, if you think you can do it cheaper... Go for it. Yeah, absolutely, you go for it. But I'm going to do mine from here and it's going to take me a little while to do and well, I suppose we better get on and do it. So I'm going to climb the tower. Nigel, if you can switch on the, the pump. Once I'm ready to be pumped, oh, I'll pump you. And then once we've got it clean, we'll uh, we'll show off a couple of things up there. I think. Yes. Ah. And there we go. What do we do with the microphone for this one? Do we? Uh, well, it's about whether uh, I'm up to things to people or you do. Are you narrating, or am I? No, you, you may as well narrate because it's got this little hat on. Look. Uh, I'm going to put the camera down for a second while I pin this up. Ha <laughs> Okay folks, I got the mic. So... You got the power! Oh, I missed him climbing it. We could have had such a display of... This platform needs to be high. Manliness. I'm going to have to move this platform up a notch or two. If you... If you undo it then jump and move it, you should be alright. Well, undo, jump and move. Hang on, I'm going to uh, back off a bit so I can see you without pointing directly at the sky. Don't find this, we got some. You can cut it out, but we may get a, a funny moment. If I go up another two rooms. So it would see me set up the platform wrong and go to uh, move it up a couple so you can reach. Ah. Right. 
Sorry about the wobbly camera. I just sit on my ass so I can do this. And uh, while he's doing that, I've got a story to uh, recount he's while he's. Is hey? on the same level? Yes. While he's doing that. I was saying to Dave earlier about uh, when I was a kid, my nan used to work as a cleaner. At a community centre, <laughs> and she'd uh, well, she'd come home with toilet rolls and mop heads, and uh, the toilet rolls were those. I, in the UK, you might understand, but I'm not sure about anywhere else, or if you're of a certain age. I was really shaking his head at me, and uh, it was like tracing paper. This toilet paper she used to get. It was like grease proof tracing paper and you know it didn't it didn't soak anything up it was there and it like he's waiting for me I'm gonna make him wait now while I finish my story and uh, it never absorbed anything you used to wipe your ass and all it did was smear it around a bit it was like painting your ass with shit and uh, I was saying to Dave it's a life skill that I've gained because of my nan I've learned how to wipe my ass with this tracing paper. What you have to do is sort of move it around like you're using a squeegee. Find a nook in your ass. There's always a nook just above the ring, the ring I find, somewhere up there between the buttocks. And you scoop it all into that area. And then you sort of scoop it out with the paper. What is the matter with you, boy? And it's, a, it's a life skill I've learnt, so if I ever go into a toilet again where they've got that nasty ass grease proof tracing paper style bog roll, I've got this life skill of being able to actually wipe my ass with it instead of just painting my ass with shit. Here's that array. Yeah. Oh, dusty ray, and this panel's a bit loose, so it's slipped. I have to uh, get up there and just tighten up plenty of bird turds. That was from my youth when I was a kid, very, very young kid. She used to have that in the outdoor and indoor for a while, and then uh, after a while she started getting posher two ply soft in the indoor and leaving that stuff outdoor. But she had tons of mop heads and bog rolls from this bloody community centre she used to work at as a cleaner. Anyway. There we go. Right, back to uh, back to young David. Go on in. You filming me filming you? Right, I'm going to need you to switch on the soda screen. Okay. Are you ready? Yep, yep. Put the valves on, okay? There we go. Is it this switch here or is that for charging? I'm going to have to do the zoom. I know you don't like zoom, but I'm doing it. Look at that. How dirty are they? They're just dusty yours. I'll tell you what, this is fucking hard work here in the shade. Look at him go. Oh man, eh? Captain Squeegee. Sponge Dave short pants. I can't think of any more. Well, this is a. It's got to be a fascinating video. I mean, look at that. Look at that sponge action. What a guy. Oh, that's getting long now. Yeah. Oh. 
But I'm finding it quite relaxing, I don't know about that. Well, I'm sure I could come up with many uh, comments about Dave and his massive pole. Or at least his pole action. But uh, I think if I leave them to the imagination it's better. You can all be out there imagining Dave and his massive pole. Well done mate! Proud of you. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, that's a nice breeze. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know, making me stand up. Why oh, you dirty bastard? It would appear so. Yes, you're empty. How about that? Just the right amount for the job. Lovely. Fuck yeah. That's what I've done for another year. You're going to squeegee it? Or just let it dry? Because yeah, it's spotless. <laughs> right, and go back to my cool chair. In the cool shade. And uh, film him. Here's a squeegee now. I don't know how he's going to edit this to make it exciting. He's going to have to fit in some fighting scenes or some some kung fu or some naked lady or big boobies or something. Oh, is that his guts? Yeah, it'll dry on its own. And if it's truly spotless, it'll be fine. Right, let's see this man's athletic ability. need a refreshing copper on a day like today. Don't you Mr Marsh? Yeah. Because you've worked so hard to earn that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you know what, it is quite hard to swing that bloody thing around at the top of that. I can see. Which is why, one of the reasons why we felt that it wasn't really a viable, stupid haircut, wasn't a viable proposition for us. So it is I mean, yours physically are harder work than you think. To yeah, and that's with an They're easy to access easy. one. Okay. We could move that platform even closer to the middle, actually, as well, couldn't we? I've got to fix the fucking fix that soffit while it's up today. That other panel there does nothing, by the way. That was a an old experiment from 2007. I'm going to go up and uh, just tighten up the loose panel up there. But I'll, while I'm up there, while I'm up there, I'll show you this bit of kit here, this Solar Survey 100, which is something I bought in 2014 specifically for this installation and haven't used since. Thank you very much. You're welcome old boy. Take that with me cup of tea. Mm, yes, interesting bit of kit. Cost about 100 quid I think that. Oh Jesus, fuck you. Oh yeah, sorry mate, I uh... <laughs> Chewy, I expected That's that it. Whiskey it's and it's coke from the other night. <laughs> 
Okay, let's get back up there. Put that slipped panel back in place. Marvellous. Look at him down there. Fucking useless. Should have got rid of that wonky asbestos chimney when I put these on because that's not done anything for fucking decades. But there it is. So, let's get rid of the bird shit and stuff. Here's a bit different bit of kit for you. The Seawood Solar Survey 100. When you do solar panels, when I did these, again this was back in 2014, there's all sorts of calculations and things you've got to do for the feed-in tariff. I'm going to show you the, uh, the roof attachments under here. I had to strengthen the beams underneath, chamfer out the bottom of the tiles to bring out the brackets to mount the mounting rails on. It's a very interesting project. It's a shame I only ever did one of them. A lot of mechanics involved. Also a lot of calculations and readings and stuff. This seaward thing here there's a solar panel which will give me the uh, I can't remember what it gives me now watts per meter squared it measures the amount of sunlight landing on the solar panel anyway which obviously varies according to whether it goes behind a cloud or not as it just has it also has a, is it an inclinometer something that reads the the angle of the dangle so I'm holding it at 45 degrees but I'm going to put it on the panels here you can see my panels are at a 24 degree angle. We also have temperature, so that's, that's the air temperature sensor, if I remember rightly, which is probably needs to be held up into the air. I have only got so many hands. I'm sure it's not 33 degrees, but it seems to think it is at the moment. And you can put one on the, the panel to measure the, the panel temperature. That's saying air temperature 32, be a bit less than 32, it's because it's on that hot tile there. Panel temperature 38. Anyway, like I say, an interesting bit of kit that I only ever got used once and I can't really remember much about how to use it, but I've still got it. Turn off. That little stump in the middle there, and that was that windmill we were at this morning. Not too far away. Let's have a, a view of the view. Well, it's nice to have a view, isn't there, Mr. Marsh? That's the golf course over there. That's a silly fat wanker. Well. I can't think of anything else to say about solar panel cleaning other than it's a, a bit of a mission, or it can be. And this is a relatively easy array to get to and clean. I suppose we'd better get rid of the erection. Just to pop inside and show the business end, power out is currently 2.2 kilowatts. It's a 3.6 kilowatt array, if I remember rightly. I could look down there, in fact, because my own paperwork says what it is down there. RECC, you never had a bigger bunch of fucking useless wankers as those people. There was one organisation where, uh, when they came uh, calling the following year saying, would you like to renew your membership? I was like, no, you can fuck off. This is my second inverter, the first one of these failed, common problem in these things. Uh, but it failed just inside warranty. Oh, it says clock fail on it now, not that it really needs to know the date and time, but... Ooh, also insulation resistance down to 16.8, it's got a full scale of 20 mega ohms. It always does an IR check when it wakes up. I wonder why that's reading a little lower than it has been. It's on a RCBO, so it shouldn't be another circuit pulling it down. 8.2 amps in, 304 volts DC from the panels, and uh, 9.1 amps to the grid. 245 volts, more. 
a metre from which zero. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. I've fixed my soffits and uh, cleaned my gutters. That'll keep the wife happy. As happy as she gets for a while. Well, I just fucked off home because he didn't see this as being uh, anything to do with him anymore. Cleaning gutters and stuff. But that's okay, I can take this down on my own. I don't need Nige for, well, anything really. But I'll, uh, I'll set up the camera just in case I do have a horrible accident doing it. This is your car. Then this is a motorcycle. Game over. And you know what? They do look pretty street free. So I guess that spotless water stuff's doing its waz. I've used plain water in the past, I've noticed white streaks down them, even from ground level here, but no, they're looking alright. Not a bad job, David. Oh, and uh, yes, even the gutters are relatively clean now. Lovely. Oh, that was hot and sweaty, and no thanks to Naj because he's buggered off and left me to it, but I've got the platform down and stowed it back up on the ceiling here where it lives on some brackets that have been fitted into the joist a few years ago. Pretty swish, I don't mind saying so myself. And again, I know haters are going to hate, but um, if we were using this, if we had to work at height, uh, on commercial sites or if we were using this kind of equipment regularly then obviously we would go for the proper um, commercial adjustable kickboardy scaffoldy stuff the PASMA certification and the um, working at heights stuff I do have a working at heights uh, qualification from years ago I can't remember um, I've got the certificate somewhere for it anyway but uh, yes we would get the proper accreditations of stuff because we don't do work commercially because we use this in very infrequently and because it's me and my business and I'm the one screwing up there I accept the risk for it and that's just the way it is so um, I can live with that so like it or not but there you go but uh, again if you're doing it commercially or if you're doing it in a more serious way than I do then you probably want to uh, play it safer than I am but enough of all this it's time to move on to more important matters oh I don't mind if I do marvellous anyway that's enough of all that blarney so cheers <laughs> 